Hi everybody, so today we're going to do um, a hamstring movement because we haven't done one of them yet. So we're going to do um, a lion leg curl which is a brilliant movement for hamstring. Um, there's a number of things that people do wrong on the lion leg curl which we'll go through. I'm going to put George through a proper set tonight so give him the benefit of the doubt because he's not done it before. Um, but he's, there's just lots of things that people do wrong. One of the main things is when they're curling up um, they pull the knees onto the bench uh, and you see that being done uh, an incredible amount of times. So they're bringing the glutes in and they're dragging the body really, really forward, which is bringing the lower back in a lot by lifting the hips really high up off the bench. So what you need to do when you position yourself, as everybody knows, this should be just above the ankle uh, on, on the back of the legs and you want at least probably about an inch or so of the knees just off the pad then they should not move so as you curl up try to the thing that i try to get people to do is is try to when you're doing like a leg extension you really need to keep your bum anchored into the seat on this machine it's a bit like a preacher curl for biceps so on a preacher you want to keep your triceps pushed into the pad on here you want to be focused on pushing your quads firmly into the pad of the bench and keeping the upper body down. Yes, you're probably going to get a little bit of glute movement in the hip that your bum might lift a little bit. That can be a natural thing in the body, that's absolutely fine. But your bum don't want to be three foot up in the air and the hips coming off the bench. So as you curl up, do not let the knees pull onto the bench at all, because if you do, it's lost. The hamstrings are not doing anything anymore. Okay, so try and keep the body nice and flat. The other thing, what a lot of people don't been told to do, and even I did it for a while when I was beginning, years and years and years ago, people point the toes. Now, it's kind of a natural thing to do that, but believe it or not, it's not making the hamstrings be more involved as some people say. You're actually bringing the calves into the movement a lot more, which is why some people get off and they're in agony in the calves way too much. Okay, so try and keep the foot fairly nice and straight. You know, if, if your toes pull back a little bit, it happens, but try and keep that foot nice and straight so you can keep the focus as much as possible on the hamstrings, okay? As with any leg movement, as I've said before, keep it a thumbless grip, allowing the blood to flow so your blood pressure don't go through the ceiling, keep your breathing good, um, and try to focus on coming up as high as you possibly can. For some, some people get way higher than others. I can, you know, even on a warm up, I cannot get my feet to touch um, the glutes as some people can. If you can do that, amazing. But once my hamstrings have contracted, I can't do that. So, but I do ensure that I'm pulling it as far as I possibly can. You tend to get people coming up sort of this far. You need to get, you know, as far as close as, as you possibly can to get that full contraction in the hamstring and then allow it to come right back down until it sits. Yes, you'll always get people say, don't let it touch, keep tension on. But like I've said before, you're going to recruit many more fibres by getting the absolute biggest range of motion as you possibly can without changing body shape or anything, just keeping it super strict on the muscles we're trying to work. So absolute full range of motion, all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. So we're going to get George to come in and we'll get a set done. Okay, George, so thumbless grip. Okay, just make sure your knees are just off the edge of the bench. And as we tire, George, your knees are going to want to squeeze together. Okay, always on all leg movement, keep the knees out over the feet. Okay, so we're curling up. Hold, slowly, slowly coming down. Keep them feet nice and straight. Don't point your toes. Let it stop at the bottom. Smooth drive. Squeeze the hamstrings to death at the top. Slowly, slowly coming down. Stay pushed in. And squeeze. Hold, tension it down now. Tension it down. Just the rep we're doing, George. The only important part to pause at the bottom. Smooth start, then increase the drive. Squeeze, tension it down. Now, no body movement now. Keep the hips pushed down. Squeeze. Hold, tension it down, keep them hips on the bench, quads firmly pushed in, flex the hamstring, hold, nice and smooth coming down, keep it smooth, keep it smooth, smooth start, now drive, good, tension it, feet nice and straight, remember flex these first George, then increase the drive, body still, hold, tension it down, that's it mate, stay tight, stay tight, smooth, then drive, hold, 
Tension, just the one we're doing, George. Keep the knees out over the feet. Take the ball, smooth pull. Don't move forward now, that's it. You'll feel like you want to drive forward. Don't allow that, stay there. Smooth pull now. Right up, George, pull. Tension it down. Breathe. You're okay, you're okay. Smooth pull. Drive through it to the top. Slowly down. Don't point them toes, fella. Knees out now. Don't pull onto the bench. Keep the knees off. Drive. Quads pushed in. To the top, to the top, to the top. Slowly come down. Keep breathing. Control. Give me another one now. Stay tight. No body movement. Just hamstring. Stay there. Pull, pull, pull. Slowly down. There's at least one more in there. Hamstring. Big pull. Drive through it. Stay there. Everything you got. Up, up. Let's go one more. Let's go one more. Stay tight. Breathe with it, George. Everything now. Pull. Drive, it'll go. Pull. That's the one. All the way up. Slowly down. Right, give me one partial repetition, George. Stay there. Now pull as far as you can on your own. Pull. Make sure it's gone. Make sure it's gone. Slowly down. Slowly down. Good, sir. Well done, fella. Good. Good effort. So George has done his set. Hopefully you could see the intensity of that set, um, the really, really good form um, and effort. As you could see, we were really trying to keep him down on the pad, um, keeping his knees out over his feet, trying to keep his feet as straight as possible, not pointing the toes back, um, and no body movement at all. Uh, we pushed him to failure and he got a partial rep as well, just to make sure we've done enough there to do. Um, and I know he's really feeling that. So that's it, that's, that's all you need to do if you're putting that amount of effort in. Don't let anybody tell you you need more. If you feel like you need more, the set wasn't hard enough. It's really that simple. Um, but also like anything else, you've got to know when enough's enough. Um, because doing more and more is just more for your body to try and recuperate from, rather than get the adaptive response that we're after. So, that's the kind of set that you need to be doing if you're just going to do one set. Um, we did do a warm-up set, which I think George has captured, so I put a little bit of that on. But then it was one just full-out set like that, and his hamstrings are done. So try and look to that form. It's the same form on any other leg curl. You know, if you um, you you do not want the knees coming onto the bench, onto the pad or bench, even a standing leg curl. But on a, on a standing leg curl, you need to keep um, your quadricep against the pad. You get a lot of people coming away from it. What you need to do is stay up against it. Because again, once you're coming away from it, if lower back and glutes are taking over, we're losing the contraction in the hamstring. So stay against the pad. Okay? Um, and again, form. Just like I said with the breach curls, you know, um, stay pushed against it. Full range of motion. And, and just don't allow other muscles to come into play too much. We need the hamstrings to be working as much as possible. So as always, leave your ego at the door and just put the effort into the set with the correct form. Repetitions, I probably wouldn't go less than 10, just to ensure you can keep the uh, style of the motion and everything exactly as it should be and push yourself to that point like George did. Uh, and that's basically it for the leg curl and hamstrings. Hi guys, I'm having to lean over now because I can't stand up straight, but uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, more videos coming, more training, um, and we're going to get some other people training as well and really blasting some muscle groups, so keep tuned.